Hey everyone, this is Zach, just a guy from Indiana, coming at you for episode 24, The Build Up, Jake Paul, Mike Tyson, July 20th, Netflix at Dallas Cowboys Stadium. As always, thank you so much for tuning in. If you haven't had a chance to like and subscribe, please do, and feel free to take a look at all of our videos where we are covering all things Jake Paul, Mike Tyson, up until the bout July 20th. This week is going to be a little bit different. We have another super fight on our hands that is taking place April 20th when we are going to see two 25-year-olds, two of the best young boxers to do it to date, Devin the Dream Haney and Ryan King Rai Garcia. Now, I have been hesitant to cover this fight because as everyone may know, or I will let you know, all eyes have been on Ryan Garcia. More specifically regarding his use on the internet, his tweets, his live streams, streams on YouTube. And there's been a lot of concern around Ryan Garcia. Is he going to be ready to do this fight? Is he, is he mentally fit? How's his mental health? Should he even be fighting? And when I hear things like that, I tend to back off. Because I feel for anyone who is going through some sort of mental health struggle. And at that point, a light switches off with me and I don't cover it because it's not my place. And I want that person to improve their mental health before they go back into whatever it is. Their career, sport, anything. I always want that to be taken care of first. I truly feel for anyone going through a mental health event. But here we are. It's fight week. The fight's still on. Devin Haney, Ryan Garcia. And here's something that caught me completely off guard. Completely blindsided me. And I didn't know if you guys knew this. So on the channel DAZN on YouTube, it's D-A-Z-N. They cover a lot of boxing, but mostly they cover... A lot of super fights. Well, they've been covering Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia, and they've got a series out right now, and it's called Devin Haney versus Ryan Garcia, 40 Days. And in the second episode of this 40 Days mini series, if you will, Ryan is quoted to say, I have had mental health issues since I was 17 years old. I beat doubt down and boxing to deal with it, end quote. Guys, this, this is what caught me. I had no idea Ryan's been dealing with this since 17, right? Because when, when we hear everything about this fight and Ryan and his Twitter use and everything going on right now, I'm thinking of that. I'm only thinking of the here and the now, the present. So for Ryan to come out and tell us the truth and be vulnerable and say, hey, I've been going through this since, since 17. Guys, Ryan has a ton of wins in between the ages of 17 to 25. The only loss the guy has is to Tank Davis. This was super surprising to me and honestly motivated me more about this fight because it's showing us that Ryan's been able to balance his mental health and boxing simultaneously. With, again, most of his wins, many of his wins, being between the age of 17 to 25. And right away, another superstar came to mind. None other than the NBA great, one of the best guards to do it, Kyrie Irving. Now, Kyrie Irving has also been very vocal about his mental health. And he has said in the past, and I quote, Go see a therapist. Please, please don't suffer in silence. End quote. I bring that to you because I think that's a great quote. And I believe that to be true. Don't suffer in silence. Talk to somebody. If you feel it can't be friends and family, there are a lot of people that you can still talk to. You got to vent. You got to get these things out. You got to let those emotions run. Let them out. 
and things can and will get better. So to correct Kyrie's credit, that was a great quote. But here's a comparison. Kyrie Irving is a genius guard. One of the best guards in, in the NBA to do it. And he's balanced mental health and basketball his whole career. The guy has one of the highest guard IQs in the game. He can The vision he has to make the passes he does, the movement off the ball, picking the right particular shots to take at the right time, many of them buzzer beaters, or at least at the end of the game when it counts the most, I see some comparisons now. And I bring that to you because Kyrie has shown us excellence in the game of basketball. And although my my pick still remains the same, okay, I want to be very clear on that. I picked Devin Haney to win this fight. I think he is a technician. I do believe he is chasing greatness. And I see a lot of comparisons with Devin Haney to Tank, to Tank Davis. And that is a that is a good set of skills to follow. But we cannot shoo off Ryan Garcia in this fight anymore. Because we can make all the comments and hear all the comments of everything going on with Twitter and all the things he's doing and saying and all these, you know, out there remarks he's making right now. But again, we have to think maybe that's because of the of the light he's in for this fight. Everything is zoomed in on him and his life, and this is a mega fight. This is the biggest fight of his career, aside from maybe Tank. Actually, maybe more because these are two of the best young guns to, do, to be doing it. So although I still think Haney will win, <clears throat> there is no, no room to say that it's 100%. Definitely not. And I think if you listen to Ryan Garcia in that series, especially in that series, 40 Days, I I am 100% convinced that Ryan's 100% convinced he's going to knock out Devin Haney and win this fight. You know, sometimes in super fights, you catch certain things that one of the fighters says and you start thinking, you know what? Uh, I don't don't think he really thinks, believes he can win. Right, especially during fight week, you hear something and you're just like, I'm I don't got that much confidence in this guy anymore. This is not the case. This is like completely opposite. Ryan Garcia is already looking at his next fight. Like he's already he's already won this fight in his head. He already has the belt. He's already then prospecting his next fight. Ryan Garcia is that convinced, and I believe that he is that convinced. That he's going to win this fight. And wow, how much more exciting does that make this entire fight coming up this Saturday? So something to think about. I don't know if you guys knew this, but again, this was news to me. 17 to 25, he's been dealing with this. And again, what a young age, a crucial age for a kid to balance something so so extreme to have this many millions of eyes on you this Saturday and also battle mental health and to have won so many matches during that time span puts things in a brand new perspective for me and I think it's going to be a really good fight so something to think about as always thank you for tuning in today feel free to subscribe and we will talk tomorrow have yourself a great rest of the day